With all the sports in the world, what brought you to the NFL? More specifically, what made you follow the Buffalo Bills? It's a strange history for an Italian guy, okay? I met this nice lady, American lady in Venice. I said, okay, I will come to visit you. She is a big fan of the Buffalo Sabres. So I'm in love with the Sabres as well. So Buffalo is like here. And then her brother, big, huge fan of the Bills. I have become interested in NFL when I was a university student, so around 1990s. Yes, uh, that time was San Francisco 49ers and Joe Montana's golden era, and 49ers and Montana were very popular in Japan too. Uh, Joe Montana's TV commercial was so popular in Japan, I often saw young people wearing 49ers red and gold gear. Um, in downtown Tokyo. But however, never the rest of 49ers and Joe Montana's boom, I have not become, uh, I have not become 49ers fan uh, because so-called ever victorious team is not my favorite. I started following the Buffalo Bills since 10 years ago. You know, my husband all the time was telling me, okay, I'm gonna introduce you to this team, but, you know, like, but uh, they are not really good now, but they used to. So he, he, uh, he used to play some videos for me from Pussy Smith. I started going to Buffalo Bills uh, games before uh, you know, be a real fan. So I, I, I was wearing the jersey and I was supporting them, but the passion wasn't there yet. But the first time that I went to Buffalo, it's when I say, okay, okay, this is my place. And I, I totally understand like a lot of the things that my husband said to me in the past, you know, the community, what the team represents for the city, the tailgate, I mean, and after that, uh, my husband keeps telling everyone that uh, he created a monster. My stepfather, he went traveling to North America when he was uh, 17, 18 years old. And, and he had just mentioned that he'd been to Buffalo when he was you know, on his travels. And so probably when the steel was still big and it was a proper blue collar city and you know it was all a big heavy industry and I think he got he worked here for a while and you know it's when British people could travel you know without work visas and you know easily and he just had come back and he just mentioned Buffalo and I guess I was about I don't know 10 or 11 when he was, he was talking about them and I just like the name because of obviously Buffalo Bill Cody and you know that kind of thing and it just sort of stuck kind of hung around with you know, those kind of thoughts of, you know, of just a far away place and, you know, an ice hockey he talked about as well. And he'd been to New York and, you know, he talked about kind of um, just his travels and just American culture. And we have soccer in Italy. He said football <laughs> in Italy. And I said, I want to watch a football game. It was the game opener. I think it was like 2004. Opener against Jacksonville. We lost at the last play of the game, 17-14. And I had no idea about this game, no idea. The whole, everybody, all together, just, you know, tailgating and no fights, because in soccer here in Italy, you cannot put all the, the fans together. So, sharing a beer, just staying together. It is something nice. It's amazing. I know about the Buffalo Bills through my father. The, that was in 2008. The day, that was the time my father introduced me to Buffalo Bills. Me and my father has been a lifelong Buffalo Bills fan since 2008. And I have been through it all. Down through the good times, through the bad times. My favorite game is when we played the Austin Oilers and the biggest comeback in NFL history. So, I'm looking for my favorite team, favorite team like that type for a few years, and I encountered and sympathized with Buffalo Bills so much after their first Super Bowl 25th 
wide right. Furthermore, the Buffalo Bills team name and team situation were so similar to my favorite Japanese professional baseball team, Kintetsu Buffaloes. Buffaloes and Buffalo. Kintetsu Buffaloes also has never become Japanese professional champion by a narrow margin many times. And lost dramatically at championship games for many times. And there was a, a weekly newspaper called First Down, which came out, which had all of the scores and results. And uh, you know, obviously, with the Buffalo Bills kind of thing in the back of my head, they just became the team. So from obviously the mid '80s when it was on TV, that's when I started following them. And then obviously, the Bills got good. Um, and then by that time I was at university and there was better coverage on TV and the Bills used to get in the playoffs a lot and so that they were on the live games a lot and you know so you'd just be staying up late watching games and and uh, that was me so kind of hooked from afar. I've been having like conversations with a lot of fans you know lifelong fans I have some friends in Latin America and in Spain that they are, you know, Spanish people, not Americans living abroad. So they are Spanish people or Mexican people that are uh, Buffalo Bills fans. And the answers that I got is um, some of them only, you know, for the logo or for the colors. But most of them, you know, they they remember Bruce Smith, uh, Jim Kelly, and they say like there that was impressive to watch that team play. I know I'm from Nigeria, I'm a Nigerian. I live very far away, but my prayer is that on a very good day, I will come over to the US and watch the Bill Mafia game live. The Mafia is all about love and football and family, and it don't get any better than that. It is the, the bonding that keep us together. You go with a Bill's jersey everywhere, and if somebody say, Oh, hey, 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 there we go. You are mafia. That is not a, a good thing for Italy, but that's okay. <laughs> and I promise that I will be a forever Bills fan, absolutely, even if Bills become Super Bowl champion in near future. I told that. I love the team which has never championed yet, but Buffalo Bills is the exception, of course.